I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. They're terrible people, and that's why I think all of their children should be slaughtered by ordinance. The, the good news and bad news. The good news is Asmon Gold was banned after this. The bad news is Hassan wasn't as well. Here's why the rant is not, not insane. Some people, like Stephen Bennell, are hateful, evil people, and therefore become stupid. Asmon Gold is a different story. Asmon Gold is hateful and evil because he is dumb. See the difference? Destiny? Dumb because he's evil. Asmon Gold? Evil because he's dumb. You know what? Um... I take that back. This guy is evil. Okay, so he's he's actually just he's actually just no hygiene Hitler. Okay. Huh. How about that? All right, here's the deal. For those of you who are not aware, Asmund Gold went on an insane it's actually not so insane, but I'm going to elaborate on that in a moment because that bears clarification. Went on a very not TOS anti-Muslim rant. Got called up by Hassan Piker. Hassan Piker and Asmund Gold had a conversation. Afterwards, Asmund Gold was banned. We're going to be looking at that conversation here. And the opinions that he gave in that anti-Muslim rant were the kinds of opinions that a child of somewhere between 10 to 14 might have if their parents watch Fox News in the living room every night in the early 2000s. And given that Asmund Gold is a human being who doesn't seem to have evolved from being a 10 or 14 year old living in his parents' house. See where I'm going with this. Hassan Piker had an opportunity to genuinely educate someone and his audience in a way that might have actually endeared a whole lot of people to his side. Hassan didn't choose to do this for a couple of reasons. The first is that Hassan is an extremely vain moron. So Hassan's goal in that conversation wasn't to convince anybody of anything, but to posture as the more knowledgeable party but in the course of doing so, he made no coherent points. The additional part of this is that Hassan Piker doesn't actually care about civilians. This is one of the reasons why he has a blasé, borderline defensive attitude, apologetic attitude, rather. Those mean the same thing, but different connotations in English. Um, toward things like 9-11. Uh, because Hassan Piker doesn't actually care about civilians. It's going to be a major absence from this conversation. By the way, I watched bits and pieces of this in advance, tiny bits and pieces. This is like a three hour and half, half long video. Um, I watched, I think collectively, about 15 minutes on Kid Not Kin last night. But if you're not familiar with Kid Not Kin, go give him a subscription. He's got actually excellent commentary. And he doesn't like me at all. So if I'm telling you that he's good, you can take that to the bank. Criminally small audience. But moving on. Instead of explaining to Asmund Gold that, hey, look, I see all of your issues with conservative, different types of conservative Muslim cultures, etc., etc. I'm not on board with those either. I don't like homophobia, I don't like transphobia, I don't like patriarchy, and so on and so forth. But that should not license us to condone, or even worse, abet, killing a whole lot of innocent people and their children who are just trying to live their lives. That's the, that's the conversation that needs to be had, because the fact of the matter is, the bare fact that a culture has ideals entrenched in it that you don't like, or respect, or even that you hate, doesn't give you a license to completely turn on your own values, which presumably, I would hope, involve the opposite of that, i.e. not, not oppressing all those same people. Leaving aside the fact, of course, that the people conservatives in Arabic countries are phobic against, trans people and gay people, etc., etc., are also being massacred and displaced. Um, there's a very easy conversation to be had here, which is, hey, Asmund Gold, old buddy, old pal, I get that you've got an issue with conservative religious culture, um, but they're killing a bunch, bunch of kids as well. They're not, they're not educating the population. They're making them more extreme by traumatizing them en masse. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen at all. Hassan debates like Tyler haven't seen much dude likes to shriek. Has Hassan's just very dumb. The thing about Hassan is that he is he is a streamer who actually succeeded at a radical left-wing grift to such a degree that he's never had a reason to really shift on this. So his opinions are, his true opinions tend to be essentially red fascist because he himself is not fundamentally a leftist person. He is a team left person, which is a very different thing. He is a person whose audience is primarily people who hate conservatives, fair, uh, but who don't really care about politics all that much, don't really care to know about politics all that much, and basically just want to watch a himbo shout at people who represent a human effigy of people who irk them in their day-to-day -day life. That That's it. 
He's not like Tyler. He's smarter than Tyler. Hassan's smarter than Tyler, but that's not saying much. Anyways, I digress. Um, I think, is he going to show, he's going to show the, uh, the rant on here. So we can just watch Hassan's video. Hassan, Tyler, and Steven Crowder podcast went, no, no, not a podcast. You need a sitcom, okay? Hassan, Tyler, and Steven Crowder have to share an apartment. And Bad Empanada is the, uh, grumpy neighbor slash, you know, news delivery person. It's like the Newman, right? Anyways, I digress. Um, not going to cry a f river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f They're terrible people. What the f Ain't no way he's talking. Okay, he's- Ain't no way! Just stop talking like that, you f***ing idiot. You're- you're- you're going onto TV, you're arguing with people about a serious issue. Stop acting like a side character in Breaking Bad. All right, let's- can we find the actual rant? I don't want Hassan shrieking over it. I just- I just want the clip without the commentary. You can only find commentary. It's like the one time you don't want to find an Asmund Gold video. It's- it's not anywhere. It's actually hilarious. It's actually impossible to find clips. Like, search anything. Whereas Gold hasn't not reacted to it, just had it on screen and just parasitically vegetated off of other people's creations. And now all of a sudden you want to find a clip original of by Asmund Gold, and you can't find it anywhere. Let me see if I can find it on Reddit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, look at this. This is on Asmund Gold's uh, Reddit. Islam does not support genocide. Locked. This post has been removed by the moderators of Asmund Gold. Asmund Gold. The reason. This post has been automatically removed. Due to low engagement, less than 11 upvotes after four hours. Just, I hate this guy. I hate all these people. Here's the Asmund Gold rant. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. They actually don't, by the way, just so you know. Just so you know, uh, there are anti-Jewish statements absolutely in the Quran, but Sharia law does not does not include genocide. That's very, very stupid. It's also... I hate when people say Sharia law. It's not Sharia law, it's just Sharia. The, the word effectively is a synonym for law. So it's law law. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. They're terrible people, and that's why I think all of their children should be slaughtered by ordinance. Well done. Well done, Asmon. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. Crazy. They'd be doing the same thing. Mmm. 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 Oh. The sugar and the tar. Mmm. This has to be... This has to be the most viscerally disgusting human being in the Western world. Like, period. And I say in the Western world, largely because I'm not aware of non-English streamers. I'd probably be more bold and I'd say pretty globally. Like, I mean, dear God. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. Who are you? Who are you talking to, Asmogold? You're living in your own filth in your mother's house. You've got cockroaches and rats dying around you. You're you're drinking nothing but Coca-Cola, and eating filthy dollar store steaks. Who 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 who's not like you? And congratulations. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible, it kills people for their identity, and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. I want you to just ponder the boldness it takes to have one of the most famously filthy homes in the world. Filthy. You're, you're like, um, you're like one of the especially dark episodes on Hoarders. You're famous for having your bleeding gums smeared over your bedroom walls. And, uh, and you've just finished, you've just finished arguing that, yeah, you know what? I'm cool with a whole bunch of kids dying because their parents are religious conservatives. Um, and then, without a hint of irony, asserting your cultural superiority. 
It's, uh, that's, uh, that's confidence you can't fake. That's what that is. All right. Talking about Palestinians, right? They'd be doing the same thing. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're so not here's the deal. It, it begs the question. Why is Asmund Gold, a man who takes no interest in the world whatsoever, uh, who lives in his own shit, who cannot, who, who, who just doesn't, he has not grown up. He doesn't care, he doesn't live on Earth, okay? Why is Asmund Gold commenting on Israel-Palestine? Why does he care? Because the truth is he doesn't. Why does he feel like he needs to talk about it? Why does he feel like he needs to pontificate about a culture he knows nothing about, about a place he knows nothing about? You think Destiny couldn't find it on a map? I guarantee you, if you ask Asmund Gold to draw a map that showed the general positional relation between North America and the Middle East, it'd be somewhere in Antarctica. Why does he feel like he needs to continue this sentence? Why not say, for example, I don't know anything about this, guys, but it seems like Hamas, the Hamas guys are pretty bad, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not. Or, or even just like take a pro-Zionist stance, like a typical one. It's like, well, they attacked first, da, da, da. what's Israel going to do? See, that is covering for something horrific and vile, but you can kind of understand the logic of it. Something has gotten him riled up where he feels like he needs to demonstrate that he's sentient with respect to this topic, and I, I don't know what that is, because this is a Warcraft streamer. You are not required to weigh in on this. But I'll tell you one thing, and this is, you'll, you'll notice in the title, um, I've, I've, I'm specifically mad at Hassan here. And that's because, as horrible as the thing is that Asmongold said, I am very pleased. I am very pleased that Asmongold is tying himself to that stance. I like the idea that when somebody thinks of a virulent Islamophobic bigot, they think of the sickeningly disgusting millionaire who lives in his own filth and smears his gum blood on the walls. I think that is a positive state of affairs, in my humble opinion. Maybe that's naive of me, but when I think, how do I want the decks to be stacked on either side, I think I really want the heavy hitters on the opposing side to look like Asmongold. What I do not want is for the people on my side to look like a son piker. Not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But oh. if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. Oh my God, I hate this argument so much, bro. This is crazy. Holy. This is crazy. What is this, is this full clip? When I consider oh a genocide God. as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law. <laughs> bro. Oh my God, bro. bro. Oh my God. Bro. It's oh so my funny God. because like his analysis right here. Look at all the cuts it takes to get to any, any sort of statement. Like, you know, he has nothing to say to that. He has nothing, he has nothing to reply with. Is the liberal analysis. It, when you scratch the surface. It's the, li the liberal analysis. But, but, but it's not though. Um, the liberal analysis is, is, has a little bit of nuance to it. Uh, in particular, generally, the liberal analysis is not, they hate their way of life. That's like the Bush analysis. That's, that's where Asmongold is operating at. The liberal analysis is, well, they're run by terrorists, therefore their lives are forfeit because Israel needs to defend itself. And, and how, how dare you criticize what Israel does? They, they have to defend their way of life. Do you want a second Holocaust? That's, that's the, that's a liberal analysis. It's not, not this, this is, this is just, uh, pure brain dead Western chauvinism as filtered to the mind of a child seeing his parents watch the news secondhand. This of like the average American over a certain age and why probably a fan are, upload. No, it's us and obvious is right here are so blind to the obvious dynamic, the obvious, the obvious inequalities, dynamic. the obvious inhumanity of Israel's operations. They literally agree with this. They also think this you only arrive at this conclusion. That wasn't a coherent sentence.
I, I, maybe it made more sense before it was edited, but this sentence actually made no sense. After years and years and years of social conditioning that justify the world, uh, the the war on terror, America's war on terror, and the unironic. Yeah, that's a that's a Bush era sentiment. That's not that's not the, the typical defense of what Israel's doing justifications for this war on terror required maybe like in israel it, it's more common but it generally like when i see people defending israel's actions in gaza here and they don't really tend to defend in the west bank they tend to just kind of ignore it when they can um the argument typically has to do with uh the violence of hamas and associating pro-palestinian seven with being pro-hamas not with attacking the inferior culture of the victim population the dehumanization of Arabs and Muslims and every single person that lives in that part of the region. Okay, good. Because good. if you were to look at the situation and recognize that humans are being blown up. How does the war and terror have implications here? Because the rhetoric that Asman Gold is engaging in is consistent with Bush era America strikes back rhetoric. That's that's why. Hard every single day so that America can secure oil fields in Iraq, you would go crazy. So you have to either, on the one hand, omit key details, but also every single time you cover the atrocities, have to make it seem like they are, you know, Why can't Asmund Gold just be an idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about and is getting all of this filtered second head? Like, why does there have to be a conspiracy here? Asmund Gold is, is not a mentally adult human being. Like, why is he emblematic of, of X, Y, and Z? And why are you pontificating like he's, like he's... Like this is a, a person of of note or of stature that you need to address this way. Like treat him with contempt. That's that's how you treat Asmund Gold, especially if you're Hassan Piker and you're that big. You go, this doofus doesn't know what he's talking about here. Let's let's pull him on a call, okay? At the very least it'll be content, guys. Hey, Asmund Gold, you said some kind of dumb stuff. You wanna talk it over? Boom. That would actually be really powerful. He doesn't have the capacity to do that. The problem with Hassan Piker is he doesn't actually know very much. So what he leans on is his overwhelming popularity to cushion him from the consequences of making a fool of himself and embarrassing his side. Very frustrating. And he's insecure because of the lack of knowledge exactly. So when what you'll see is when the conversation goes on, he's not really capable of an organic back and forth. Asmongold's opinions are very bad. Asmongold himself is not a nice person. Asmongold himself is kind of a disgusting person. However, Asmongold in their conversation appears, gives all the signs of being open to having his mind changed. That's a big deal if he has a lot of people who watch him because they find him personable. Hassan Piker has the opportunity to make himself personable. You don't need to go down through the, the entire history of Palestine. All you got to do is show, hey, look, I get what you're saying, okay? I don't agree with you, but I get what you're saying. There's a lot of beliefs that other people hold in the world that we don't like, that I don't want to, I don't want to spread, I don't want to be proliferated or whatever, but... Here's the deal. What's happening to uh, the people in, in Gaza and the West Bank and, and in Lebanon, um, that's not happening because of their culture. That's happening because uh, an, another country is using the pretext of an attack by a criminal group to start attacking innocent people and to push them out of their homes and to and to bomb children and starve them out and cut their water, etc., etc. That's not good. That's actually pretty barbaric. That's not a thing we should be endorsing either. So... Like, maybe, maybe there's a bit more nuance to this, where it's not just a matter of, well, are the guys they're killing over there the bad guys or not? Maybe it's a question of, oh, are there innocent people in between the lines that are being caught in the crossfire? And do we have responsibility to minimize those, those people suffering, et cetera, et cetera. And then in the process of doing that, even if you don't convince Asmund Gold at all, you will sell yourself in your position as a nice, cozy, safe place to engage to everybody in his audience, which means that you may actually start a slow process for a lot of new people to actually looking at these ideas in a different light, but it's not going to happen because, uh, Hassan Piker is a deeply insecure, um, deeply disconnected person, um, who relies for his ego on the approval of a horde of children who have no concern for the future. So worthy targets or collateral damage that is permissible why is it permissible because they're not really human beings I don't have as many bombs and as many weapons but if they did they'd be doing the same thing that's it just takes enough that's right sunday would you support a one-state solution as a secular liberal democracy with equal rights for all instead of the two-state solution uh yeah that's kind of been 
that's my ideal stance. Um, I think the two-state solution is not really a two-state solution, but if you can make it happen at this point, it's better than what's happening now. I mean, really, at this point, like, take anything. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, take literally anything that uh, causes the IDF to preside carefully without guns firing over a slow rebuilding of homes of two million people. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm very, very pessimistic at this point. Right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture. Asmongold, your co-owner of your organization, you are calling a person from an inferior culture. Wow. Wow, actually? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's not even banned. Look at this. He's going to be banned for 14 days. He just said a massive part. A massive part of Amazon's clientele are from an inferior culture, but he's getting a 14-day ban. Do you think do you think I would get a 14-day ban for that? No, no I wouldn't. I get a I get a full permanent ban. You think um you think Chud Logic would get a 14-day ban? Do you think this is just this is just gross. Just don't ban him. That's 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 better. Don't ban him. Banning him for 14 days is a fucking insult. How how do you ban Destiny but you don't permanently? How do you permanently ban Destiny? But you don't ban Asmund Gold permanently for this. How? How? Sneeko is still is Sneeko still on Twitch? Like I hate all these people. Ban them all, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, like what are you doing? Log off the internet, stop reading Reddit and go talk to some real humans, please. Holy shit. Like your co-owner. That is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly anti- It kills people for their identity and that's why I won't shed a tear if people from this inferior culture are genocided. Well done. Antithetical to everything Western values stand for and it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. Bro, this is this is straight up one to one. What Nazi said about Jewish people? What like the most right wing uh, uh, approach to this conversation? This kind yeah, of but, attitude. But did, but did you consider? Did you consider that Jewish people don't have Sharia law, Hassan? Dude, American exceptionalism literally is the same thing. You're just removing American exceptionalist sentiment that is baked into American society, Western superiority. You're just taking the 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 thing that shelters it and the thing that makes it like the norm when you remove i like i like the piles of jewelry on his hands while he's, while he's doing this Ooh, the outside patina the skeleton remains this is the skeleton this is the bare bones okay this is the bare bones of the argument that like america is the best country on earth when you remove the outside stuff that makes it i guess seemingly more seemingly more appropriate for liberal consumption Okay, in an otherwise okay. liberal society, this is what you arrive at. I don't think, like, I think he popped off on this, not thinking that, like, this would... Nobody is listening to him talk. Nobody who's watching this is paying attention to a single word he's saying. They don't care. They don't care. This is, this is background noise. No, nobody cares. All this is fake. Asmongold isn't thinking for five seconds before he speaks of what he's saying. He doesn't give a shit about this. He doesn't care. It's not real to him. Hassan's not either. Asmund Gold's going to keep on streaming like he does always. going to go on YouTube, okay? He's going to lose a few thousand bucks this week. That's going to be the consequence for Asmund Gold, and he's not going to notice it. Look at his house. He doesn't know what to do with a thousand bucks. Would be, uh, there would be a lot of repercussions for this. And you know what else is disgusting? Your house. That people in the... Your eating habits. Your, 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 li your entire lifestyle. Everything about you, in fact. West enjoy more privileges and freedom than anywhere else in the world romanticize their behavior or their lifestyle as anything other than barbaric this is what people think you say about israel i know i know like if you were to say this about judaism understandably and rightfully you would get banned and you should get banned like if i were to ever say this about if i were to ever say like oh jewish culture is this way i what you're actually witnessing here 
is these are the conversations that Asmongold has with people offline. The difference is that the people Asmongold is talking to, by and large, with a few exceptions, first of all, aren't famous enough for, for this to have the same consequences, but secondly, know to moderate themselves when they talk about it in public. And so they actually will typically adopt an actually liberal position, which is still bad, still excuses genocide, but it leans on some kind of military necessity, some kind of defense necessity on Israel's part, as opposed to on the worthiness of the target population for extermination. It would literally be Adolf Hitler, okay? It's fucking ridiculous. For the record, I don't believe that about Judaism, regardless of how much my psychopathic rabbit haters try to claim uh, I, I glad the sentence ended the way it did. I believe it. I know plenty of Muslims that respect gays. Well, I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm talking about people in Palestine. I need to process this for a second. So. So he's not talking about Muslims. He's talking about people who have Sharia law. And people who have Sharia law are exclusively in Palestine. That's interesting. That's interesting. The the takeaway from this is that Asmongold is not sentient. He's not there. He is a broken chatbot. That's what I'm taking away from this. He's he's genocidal chatbot who looks like Bugs Bunny with a mustache. Uh, the truth is that uh, that's what they... Dude, come on! Oh, I don't mean Muslims. I mean everybody in Palestine is a barbarian from an inferior culture and I won't cry if they're genocided. Bro, come on! Dude! Oh! Freaking embarrassing. Dude, Dude what? what? Palestinian what? culture? That's crazy! As a whole, how the dude, dude? This is your brain on Reddit. Bro. This is your brain on Reddit. If you Bruh. don't interact with normal people, if you don't talk to people on a daily basis, Asman Gold is moist criticals Waluigi. That's pretty good, actually. And the only way that you're getting information from your only outlet to the outside world, bro, bro, get off Reddit. That's that's your response to that, really, dude, dude. You're so Reddit brained world is just simply reddit you arrive at this conclusion it's like literally a vector of radicalization against muslims islamophobia and also specifically palestinians that's crazy it's also additionally ironic when when we talk about lgbtq support because this community like his community hates gay people in representation and shit, like video games so what the that's the other part of this that i don't understand it's like oh western culture is so superior we love the gays except i throw a fit every time I, I have the feeling Sunday doesn't like people who speak like people this is not people do not speak like this this is not a person speaking this is this this guy is speaking like this because he's jangling keys in front of zoomer teens okay that's that's what this is this is discourse the uninformed and willfully ignorant being chided and insulted by those ever so slightly more informed and ever so slightly less ignorant <sighs> I see them in my video games, but it's bad when Palestinians, I I have imagined an alternative reality when Palestinians also do that, and I hate it when they do that. Okay, Asmongol wants to talk, he said. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All oh, right, boy. Um, Asmin. Okay. What was that transition? That was, that was so random. Yes. In the interest of fairness, I want you to explain uh, what, you, what you said that I saw. Uh, in clips, in limited clips, uh, earlier right, today, right. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I find it to be really problematic that people put, like, a lot of virtue signaling, and I think it is virtue signaling, for people that are supportive for, like, trans rights and LGBT rights when they support countries that kill people and prosecute them for being LGBT. I okay. think it's a huge problem, and I don't think you can have both of those things. What? So when you were saying... Oh, okay. So it's it's hypocritical to advocate on behalf of children being bombed if there are cultural norms that persecute gay people. Got it. Okay. And like Palestinians exhibit an inferior culture that's barbaric. You were simply talking about the hypocrisy. Is that what it is? 
Um, yeah, pretty much. No, it's not pretty much. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He was asked a question, and so now he has to construct his view from scratch on the go. He doesn't know. He has no idea what he's talking about. It's not even ignorance. It's he doesn't. He hasn't thought about this. He doesn't know what his own p position actually is. He's just he's reacting to things. He's not there. Why does he have an American flag on his ceiling? On his like why? I guess to wipe his his gum blood on. Okay. I do. And um, somebody in my chat said that you said that I thought Christian theocracy was better. No, I didn't say that. Oh, what a fucking surprise. Okay. Well, here's so, the thing, right? Yeah. Go. Oh, go ahead. Um, I want to, I want to, yeah. I want you to like fully explain because, mm -hmm. uh, I want to understand, I want to understand everything that you mean beyond the hypocrisy because like the hypocrisy version or the hypocrisy yeah. in and of itself is one thing that we can address. It's a super simple concept, well, but, how, but how I think there's a broader, that? there's always a broader point beyond hypocrisy because on online hypocrisy in and of itself, or even the the invocation of hypocrisy or perceived hypocrisy yeah. is seemingly a more damaging thing than like actual material harm right oh sure. this person is hypocritical and and that's like a very common fucking thing yeah. i'm sure you experience it on yeah but there's a reason for that though that's not petty that's because if you're a streamer or you're a content creator or you're a pundit you're a vector for information if you're hypocritical or you're dishonest then that means that the one thing that you are potentially useful for you are untrustworthy for. As far as harm is concerned, that's always going to be incidental. You're going to be um, inciting some kind of like action stochastically or directly. But that doesn't that doesn't make you as a source of information or or as a source of commentary useless as far as individual consumption is concerned. The flag is probably covering a hole in the ceiling or a hole in his heart. Present Sunday, why did the Palestinians get to kill gay and trans people because cultural norms and we Westerners don't? Why don't? Why did they get cultural norms? What are you talking about? They don't get to kill gay and trans people because of cultural norms. We don't endorse that. That's that's bad. This is not not a difficult thing to figure out, in my opinion. I think it's pretty obvious. Like, oh look, all those people in the Bible Belt, they hate gay people. Can, can we just bomb them? No. Okay, well, why can we just do that to people if they're in Lebanon or, or Iran or Palestine? Well, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say you could. That's why. Does that make sense? On a regular basis as well. It doesn't really most, matter. Most hypocrisy, I think, is derived from a misunderstanding that is often deliberate. I see yes. it oftentimes with you. You've seen it. I'm a queer person in the Bible Belt. Please don't bomb us. Well, take it up with Robin. With me, everybody has it happen. It's yeah, extremely it's the, common on the internet. Yeah. It's the Andrew Tate phenomenon, right? Where people right. don't give a fuck about like what Andrew Tate may have done or may not have done or uh, or all the shit that he has definitely done, right? Um, right, yeah. And, and care more about like, you know, perceived hypocrisy, mm -hmm. usually. They care more about that than anything else. So I don't yeah, really- Yeah, I think I there's don't a Norm McDonald clip about that. It was very good. Yeah, no, I don't no necessarily, cosmic. I don't necessarily care about hypocrisy that much. But in terms of the hypocrisy of a matter, I, can... I, 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 I believe you don't care about hypocrisy that much, Hassan. Explain it to yeah. you. Yeah, sure. Number one, um, so in terms of LGBTQ acceptance, right, trans acceptance, queer acceptance, yeah. um, you find that to be in the United States of America, in the wealthiest nation on earth, one of the most prosperous nations on the planet. To be, uh, to a certain degree, uh, like a, like a fancy thing to to advocate for, right? I don't think that you have to be rich to advocate for LGBT acceptance. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, what are you saying? Sorry. No, what I'm simply saying is that LGBTQ representation in video games is oftentimes considered to be something that is like unnecessary or something oh, that is oh, considered to be. Oh, you're talking about be... like in games. Hey guys, here's a here's a new poll, okay? You get to be five times as rich as M Asmongold, but you have to live in his house as it currently is. Do you accept? In games, in, in facets uh, of culture, in facets of media. Yeah, sometimes it happens. It feels like it's inauthentic. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, in, in turn... Which one of you sick bastards voted yes? Wait, is there a, is there a positive example of LGBTQ representation that you can think of in mainstream media in recent years? 
Sure. Just so yeah. I understand um, what the dynamic so is there. Did you did you play Final Fantasy 16? I did not. Oh my god. So they had a character in Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy fuck Final Fantasy 16. His name was Dion. And he was like the prince of an area. He was like the, you know, like person who could like channel Bahamut, right? And he was gay, and it was part of the story. And they actually blocked sale for that game in some places in the Middle East because Square Enix didn't want to censor the game for that reason. Well, I guess it's okay to kill their kids then. And but I respected you... them a lot for that. But that was... Um, wait, they, they refused to block the game? Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. Yeah, Square Enix did not do yeah. that. Uh, and that was a good representation of, of like, gay or trans... Yeah, I, of... I think so. I really do. Okay. Uh, I think that whenever you create a character that... Okay, I'm going to interpret this as like 42% of you didn't see that video where we looked over how bad uh, Asmongold's house is because I don't think you realize what you're signing up for. Characters' personality. Sometimes it feels like when characters are added into stories, especially if they have like an LGBT like lean to them, they can be turned into being like a one dimensional, uh, like I guess, identification of that person. And it's like they make like an. Hey, Asmongold, uh, riddle me this. Why, um, why was the gay couple in the last Star Wars movie, uh, just in the final end scene and, and kind of in the background? How about in Star Trek? Why was the gay couple just holding hands and walking away in a shot that is easily edited out for international consumption? Oh, uh, and why, why are, why are there no, uh, why, why is Disney, um, for example, Actually, I don't think there are any. There are no same-sex relations in Rings of Power yet, and that's Amazon. Overt effort to talk about that and discuss it. And I feel like in a lot of times it can come off as patronizing or talking down to the audience. Okay. Uh, oh, feels by the way, by the way, this is an interesting conversation. Somebody pointed this out in chat. This is an interesting conversation to be having with Hassan Piker. Because you know where else you can't have gay people in your media? Not the Middle East. That's the That's a hint. It's very inauthentic to me. Okay, so so yeah. there are. Shelob is a bug. Shelob is an arachnid. Thank you. There are instances where there's like gay representation, trans rep representation that's like ham fisted and just simply yeah. added on as uh, yeah, not so. a not not a necessary vehicle for for narrative development, but instead simply for identity points, right? Sure. To yeah. to do diversity. Okay, so. Well, not to not to get too lost in the sauce we can get back to this part of the conversation mm -hmm. in a second but my point was that like that level of lgbtq representation it's for diversity um it's for marketing purposes usually it's just like uh, sometimes it could be shitty narrative uh shitty narrative devices but ultimately it doesn't really matter but a lot of people still get mad at it right a lot of people in the western world still get mad at it and for me in particular there is a hierarchy of needs for uh, and, and that all human beings respond to, all human beings ex exist under. Is this like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs or is this like yes, something else? Maslow's hierarchy of sure. needs is, okay. is appropriate, but like there is a, there's a higher standard because the Maslow's hierarchy of needs usually uh, is, is under uh, the confines of like at least a developed country where uh, a developed yeah. country that is not constantly being bombarded or victims of like colonial occupation my point is that palestinians are not inherently uh anti-gay or anti-trans or anything like that there are gay palestinians there are trans palestinians both living in gaza in historic palestine and also certainly outside of gaza well the is problem it against is the law the okay so you don't you don't need to argue this it doesn't matter if every single Palestinian was homophobic, and for whatever reason, just by sheer dumb luck, there were no gay or trans people in Palestine. Deeply unlikely, but let's run with that. That still would not entitle you to bomb civilians. It's that easy. You don't you don't need to go into this, well, look, those Palestinians, you know, I'm kind of fine with, but you know, there are there are some good eggs in there somewhere. That's not the issue. That's not the problem. The problem is that the bombing is a combination punitive and exterminatory. There's no end in sight except for the removal of the entire population. So, that being the case, uh, this is an unethical war. These are unethical actions being taken, and so on and so forth. You don't need to start pointing at, well, 
Lord, if there is but one, one good, uh, man, woman, or child from among those people, spare the city. That's not, that's not where we're at. The problem is there is no, there is no time or space or opportunity for them to engage in queer liberation. No, the problem, the problem is that the people being bombed are civilians. Massive, massively, a massive proportion of them are, are, are civilians. The problem is that you're displacing 2 million people. The problem is not that the people, the 2 million people you're displacing are actually sort of somewhat mostly good enough to, you know, merit being treated as human beings. Canada is modern Sodom. We're not nearly that cool. Um, let alone, you know, advocate for uh, more representation in, in their artworks, for example, when they're too busy being bombed and destroyed and killed and ethnically displaced for 76 years under an apartheid regime that is a settler colonial occupation. Okay, R real quick. You don't think that I support Israel, do you? Now, this is interesting. I didn't see this part. <laughs> He's an equal opportunity anti-Semite. Got it. Okay. You just activated my trap card, Yugi. I don't support Israel. I'm in favor of the destruction of civilian populations everywhere. <laughs> you actually have a proper villain for once. That's, that's... You know what? Um, I take that back. This guy is evil. Indians are... are immoral or evil or have an evil I, antiquated uh, culture or are barbaric I is I think not that. only okay so he's he's actually just he's actually just no hygiene hitler okay huh how about that